Good and welcome to the full board educator certification meeting for Tuesday, December 13th of 2022. The Office of General Counsel has provided the full board educator licensure committee members all documentation relating to each matter in advance of today's committee meeting. Documentation presented to the members for review for the different types of cases may consist of investigative files, procedural evidence, transcripts, reports, and recommendations, memorandums, district communications, and communications from educators. Is there any objection to the full board educator licensure committee going into executive session to discuss the educator licensure matters that have been prepared to present today? Hearing none, I declare that the educator licensure committee is in executive session. In open session, and we're going to invite Mr. Campbell to come back in. All right, Mr. Campbell, we are back in open session, and at this time, I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, uh, I move that the State Board of Education defer this application of Marcus Campbell for initial certification in order to obtain more information relative to this application. Um, Council, is that sufficient? And we would reconsider on January 17th, 2023, which is our next meeting. All right. We have a motion on the floor to defer this particular case to the January 17th meeting in order to obtain additional information. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. So, Mr. Campbell, this we continue to our next in-person meeting on January 17th at which time we'll review any additional information that may be uh, found and reconsider your case at that time. Yes, sir. I um, sent a packet uh, to Ms. Right over here. Yeah. Inside of that packet, The actual um, room, and then one of the pictures is a picture of what they consider. For two years, they didn't tell me what the mechanical restraint was. Right. But then when they finally said, oh, Okay, we, I've got I want to cut know, you off because now we're getting back into your case again, and that's improper at this point. So, because you're testifying basically. So, what ha will happen now is that the legal counsel will review what you've submitted and determine its appropriateness for presentation along with any other new information next month. Yes, sir. Thank you, everyone. All right. Did this time, is there any objection to returning to executive session to discuss the other cases that are pending? Hearing none, we are back in executive session. Open session. You're welcome to have a seat there if you like or stand at the podium, either one. And do we have a motion? I make a motion that the State Board of Education deny the application of LaTanya Parker for entry into the PACE program based on the State Board of Education guidelines for PACE, which states candidates who are denied certification or have their certificate suspended or revoked pursuant to State Board of Education Regulation 4358 will not be allowed to participate in or be readmitted to the alternative certification program as well as prior findings of unprofessional conduct and violation of a law of the state of South Carolina. All right. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Yes, Ms. I'd Frierson? Like to, I'd like to recuse on, um, I know, Ms. Parker. All right. Ms. Frierson has recused herself, and that's been properly placed in the records. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion, vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, no. And the motion carries. Okay. And at this time, is there any opposition to returning to executive session for consideration of the other cases? And 
Hearing none, as soon as the doors close, we will resume executive session. Taking notes. Back on the bench again today. You're doing a good job. This is some kind of probably easy. Probably easier if she should All right, Mr. Leslie, at this time we're in open session because I need to ask you some questions to determine uh, uh, if we're going forward with your case right now. So, uh, yes. No, I don't think we swear him in for this. This is just him making a decision at this point. If he gets to the point where he makes a statement, then we'll do that. So what we have to determine first is uh, this morning is that you've gone through a hearing process, and it's our understanding you're represented by legal counsel. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So you're here today, and apparently you do not have legal counsel with you. Correct. He's have, he has a trial today. All right. So the next question would be is we can defer this case until next month, if you would like to have legal counsel with you, or it would be your right and decision to make if you choose to waive legal counsel and proceed. We're not advocating either way. We just need to know if, if you've had a chance to discuss this with your attorney, if he's not here today, if you're comfortable proceeding without him, or if his advice is if you ask for a continuance and we can reschedule it for next month. Uh, yes, sir. I am comfortable uh, moving forward. I believe it's best for you guys just to hear from me. Uh, personally. Okay, and you understand that by waiving that right uh, to have an attorney present with you today, that would not be a basis for an appeal later that you weren't represented by counsel? Correct. All right, sir. And so understanding that, that you do have that right, that you're waiving it, and that in that case, we would proceed today. Yes, sir, correct. All right, sir. So since you're not represented, let me briefly explain what the process is to you. So what we will do is the board will go back into executive session. At that time, we'll hear the cases being presented uh, from the State Department representatives. Then we will call you in and give you the opportunity, again, this is still an executive session, uh, that if you choose to make a statement, you'll be allowed to do so. You'll be put under oath and you'll have three minutes to uh, make your statement. Uh, then you would also be open to questions from the board members based on whatever you say if you choose to do so. Uh, once that's concluded, then the board will continue an executive session for its deliberations once the decision, a lot of decisions have been made, but once this, that deliberation is completed, we'll return to open session, at which time we can take whatever action, either to approve, deny, or defer the case uh, as the board sees fit. So that would be the range of options. Do you have any questions about how the process works? No, sir. All right, sir. And once again, knowing now how the entire process works, it's your desire to proceed uh, on your own without legal counsel. Yes, sir. All right. And I find your decisions willingly, knowingly, and voluntarily made. So at this time, if you'll step outside again, and we will return to executive session and begin. Any objection to returning to executive session? Hearing none, when the door closes, we'll proceed. Any objection? Okay, be able to invite him back in. All right, Mr. Leslie, we are back in open session at this time, and we'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chair. I move the State Board of Education publicly reprimand Jacob Thomas Leslie, Certificate 276149, and approve the order of public reprimand on the grounds of unprofessional conduct, and in addition, require that uh, Mr. Leslie uh, enroll in the, what is the name of the class? NASDAQ. Thank you. All right, so we have a motion for a public reprimand that requires completion of the NASTEC Prevention and Correction course. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Second. I yes, have sir. to recuse myself as a resident. All right, Dr. Woodall has recused herself from this particular case. Any other comments? 
All those in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, no. And the motion carries. Thank you so much. All right, is there any objection to returning to executive session for the final two cases? <laughs> well, we're not Hearing we're none, as soon as the room is cleared, we'll proceed. <laughs> Hearing none, we'll open the doors. And now we are back in open session. Do I have a motion for case number four? I move the State Board of Education suspend the certificate of Shantika Shakel. Simmons Certificate 286360 commencing on December 13, 2022, ending on June 12, 2023, and approve the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. Case number five. I move the State Board of Education suspend the certificate of Kristen Marlena Sumter, certificate 290855, commencing December 13, 2022, ending June 12, 2023, on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. Mr. Chair, I recuse myself on number six. All right. In case number six, we have a recusal from Ms. Chapman. Do we have a motion? I move the State Board of Education suspend the certificate of Todd D. Thompson, certificate 246694, commencing on December 13th, 2022, and ending on December 12th, 2023, and approve the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. Case number seven. I I'm, move. Go ahead. Okay. I move that the State Board of Education permanently revoke the certificate of Tyron Quante Veal, certificate 276196, effective. December 13, 2022, and approve the order of permanent revocation on the grounds of unprofessional conduct. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. And now, Ms. Chapman, you've got your lengthy list once again of cases that were heard this morning in the Educator Licensor Committee for ratification. So please proceed. I move that the State Board of Education ratify the actions of the Educator Licensure Committee for the cases listed below. State Board of Education publicly reprimands Brandy Marche Dendy, Certificate 252677, and, and approves the consent order of public reprimand on the grounds of unprofessional conduct. State Board of Education suspends the Certificate of Dylan Lee DeYoung, Certificate 285905, commencing December 13, 2022, and ending December 12, 2023 and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Education suspends the certificate of Kathleen Lee Evans, certificate 299997, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of William Brett Fry, certificate 291916, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Jerry Onita Grant, certificate 270843, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed publicly reprimands Caitlin Leanne Hamilton, certificate 304905, and approves the order of public reprimand on the grounds of unprofessional conduct. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Roy Gale Jones, certificate 282370, commencing December 13, 2021, and ending December 12, 2022, and approves the consent order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct. 
State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Paige Hoffman Kreinberger, certificate 277812, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Jennifer Ashley LaRusse, certificate 262618, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Lauren Fleshman Loudermilk, certificate 176695, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023 and approves the consent order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Rachel Bowers Mills, certificate 205957, commencing December 13, 2022, and ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Renee Marie Minto, certificate 243674, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves a consent order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Sarah Elizabeth Pfeiffer, certificate 284763, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct and breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Stephanie Eileen Quintero, certificate, certificate 265428, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Brittany L. Robinson, certificate 270902, commencing December 13, 2022, and ending December 12, 2023, and approves the order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of Ivy Nicole Savage, certificate 263260, commencing December 13, 2022, ending February 12, 2023, and approves consent order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. State Board of Ed suspends the certificate of George Kevin Sink, certificate 251084, commencing December 13, 2022, ending December 12, 2023, and approves the consent order of suspension on the grounds of unprofessional conduct for breach of contract. All right, so we have a total of 17 cases for ratification. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of vote by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. And the motion carries. And we have one more piece of business to attend to before we adjourn. Ms. Hazelwood, you're probably wondering why you're up here, aren't you? I want my motion. <laughs> okay. Well... We're not seeking legal advice this time. We've got, if, if you'll come up to the podium, I'm going to come around. I don't trip over these cords. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> five page speech already. Yeah. They're not five pages worth. No, but what we really wanted to do is take a moment. We know this is going to be your last meeting with us today. And that to show our appreciation for all you've done for us as a board over these past few years, uh, as Deputy Superintendent of Legal Affairs, as our parliamentarian, as our general counsel, as the one who keeps us from getting ruled in by the Ethics <laughs> Commission for not submitting our forms on time, uh, you've always been on top of, of all of these things for us. So this is a really small token of trying to show our appreciation and thank you for all that you've done for us. Here, here. Just to make a brief 
Okay. To give you a lot of reminders because I'll be gone. Okay. <laughs> we'll look forward to your farewell address at that time. <laughs> All right. And there being no other business to come before this committee, we will stand adjourned. The regular meeting will start at 1.30. <laughs>